good morning student today we are going to study about bears strain theory and the orbital picture of angle strain so bears strain theory is nothing but angle strain theory uh, that was proposed by the scientist bear and it is applicable for all the cycloalkanes now uh, what he proposed or postulated is that any deviation any deviation of bond angles from the normal tetrahedral value would impose a condition of internal strain on the ring so what he said is if there is a cycloalkane if you have a ring structure and if there is a deviation from the normal tetrahedral value of the bond angles now um, we know that the tetrahedral um, bond angle is 109 degree 28 inches all right so um, he proposed that any deviation from this value would result in the strain on the ring all right so uh, the bone angle that is for tetrahedral geometry is this that i have already told you 109 degree 28 inch okay now what he proposed is um, that in order to obtain the maximum overlap of the orbital atomic orbital uh, the bone angle should be 109 degree 28 inches okay uh, if you could see this is our um, sp3 hybridized orbitals and the overlap is maximum when the overlap is head on overlap and this only happens in case of tetrahedral structure when you have a perfectly tetrahedral structure uh, for example in case of methane you have this kind of overlap so what he suggested if there is any deviation from this then the overlap will not be optimum and if the overlap is not optimum then there will be a angle strain uh, this is this is the sideway overlap i have shown you okay uh, now what he said if the overlap is effective then the bone strength will be maximum and your molecule will be stable all right or in other words you can say the uh, reactivity will be lesser now if you could see i have taken the example of cyclopropane this is the cyclopropane ring the bond angle is 60 degree and um if you see the deviation this is tetrahedral angle it is 109 around 109 degree and uh, the deviation is ar around 49 degree so the deviation is very large so in case of cyclopropane you get uh, some uh, ring opening reaction at the normal temperature for example if you react the cyclopropane uh, if you react the cyclopropane with the uh, hbr you will get something c ch3 ch2 ch2 br product like this brominated product and the ring will be open this ring will be open and a substituted product will be obtained so this kind of reaction are shown by cyclopropane easily at room temperature this is because the overlap is not optimum so the bond strength is less and hence the stability is less resulting in the higher reactivity of cyclopropane now uh, what was the exact um, wording of bear he proposed any deviation of bond angle from the ideal bond angle value that is 109 degree 28 inches will produce a strain in the molecule now if the deviation is higher higher will be the unstability jitni jyada deviation hogi utni jyada aapki uh, cycloalkanes ki unstability hogi so i have taken four uh, cycloalkanes here cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane cyclohexane each of them having angle 60 degree 90 degree 108 degree and 120 degree respectively now if you see the deviation in case of cyclopropane it is around 49 degree in case of cyclobutane it is 19 degree 
in case of cyclopentane it is 1 degree in case of cyclohexane it is around 11 degree in case of cyclohexane the deviation is negative now we already have said this plenty of time deviation of burn angle from the ideal value produces strain in the ring higher strain produces increased reactivity and increased heat of combustion if we look at the values if we look at the deviation uh, we can uh, simply say if we compare these three things cyclopropane cyclobutane and cyclopentane we can say that our cyclopentane is most stable after that cyclobutane after that cyclopropane so the stability order we can write it is something like this this is the order of stability and when you see the reactivity when you see the um, other properties shown by these compound you will find that this order is correct this order is correct the stability order for these three cycloalkanes is correct but when you compare the cyclohexane and cyclopentane it suggests that your cyclopentane is more stable than cyclohexane okay so that means your cyclohexane should be more reactive as compared to cyclopentane but this statement is actually incorrect you must have studied in your school also that cyclohexane six membered ring is more stable than the five membered ring this you must have studied and if you see the reactions if you compare the reactions of both of these compound you will find that uh, cyclopentane is highly reactive uh, as compared to cyclohexane so that on basis of that we can say that this statement is incorrect uh, so um, this could be a limitations of bear strain theory this uh, table gives us the cycloalkanes and their respective deviation that we have already discussed this order we have discussed this is a correct statement the stability order of is in in the way cyclopentane is more stable than cyclobutane than cyclopropane this is the correct statement uh, <coughs> the incorrect statement that the bayer strain theory suggested was cyclopentane is much more stable than cyclohexane this is incorrect and this was uh, found this was found by studying the reactivity of both of these compounds okay so we uh, now moving on to the limitation of bst theory the very first thing that bst in theory um, assumed was that the, all the cycloalkanes are planar they assumed that all the compound cycloalkanes are planar so this assumption of theirs resulting in the wrong explanation because Bayer assumed that cyclohexane is a planar compound as well as cyclopentane and on basis of that he explained the order of stability but this assumption in itself was incorrect the higher rings the rings like cyclohexane, cycloheptane, cyclooctane, all of these rings do not exist in the planar form, but they exist in a puckered form. Hence, they convert their angle. For example, in cyclohexane, we have seen that the bone angle is 120 degree, but that is not true. In actual, it has a bone angle of 109 degree 28 inches this is the correct bone angle of cyclohexane because it occurs in the puckered form it it exists in a conformation like this chair conformation and because of this puckered form the bone angle changes from 120 degree to 109 giving is it the most stable structure 
so if we if we uh, we have to write down the limitations we can say the bears theory bear strain theory was not able to explain the effect of angle strain in larger ring system when we discuss rings like cyclohexane heptane octane in those cases the strain angle strain could not be explained now according to bears cyclopentane should be much stable than cyclohexane but that is practically not true practically cyclohexane is much more stable than the cyclopentane and um, third thing bear suggested that very large ring systems are not possible because they will have very high negative strain and thus cannot exist in nature but this was also found incorrect the higher ring systems exist and they are much more stable and that the stability is due to uh, the puckered puckered form in which the these larger ring system exist instead of the planar structures so uh, this is it for the bs strain theory and our orbital picture um, of angle strain